And now, it's time for another Dice Tower Review with Tom Vassell. Hey folks, Tom Vassell here, and today we're taking a look at a game called 12 Days. This is from Calliope Games, and honestly, I didn't know much about this game. I already played one game about the 12 Days of Christmas from Osprey Games, and Calliope is known for making really light games, so I kind of just said, yeah, why not? I'll give this one a play. And when I saw the deck, hey, there's 12 of the 12s, and... Uh, you know, 11 Pipers Piping, 10 Lords of Leaping. Yeah, that's all in here. Well, does that make for a good game or not? This, I thought, was a trick-taking game. It's not. It's a simultaneous selection game where players are playing cards from their hands. Here, I'll show you how it works. The game takes place over 12 rounds. There is a card for each round here. These are the rewards for each round. There is a deck of cards. This deck is made up of the 12 gifts of Christmas. So there are actually 12 12s, 7s, 7s, 8 8s, 2 2s, and so on and so forth. Except there's also two zeros. Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus are in the mix. So these are going to be shuffled and each person is going to be dealt a hand of 12 cards. The game takes place over exactly 12 rounds. At the beginning of each round, each person will look at their hand, choose a card from that hand, and simultaneously pass it to the person on their left. Then, each player will play a card face down in the middle of the table, trying to win this card here. We'll turn these over. These are the gifts that players are playing. So we see two sevens, a four, and an eight. The lowest gift is the best gift. So that is the one that wins. So here, four would win the card. All the cards are discarded. The person who played the four would get the one card. And then next time we do it with the, the two. If the lowest number, however, is tied. So let's say there was a game and there was two sevens and there was an eight and there was a, a nine or something else on the board here like this, for example then the two sevens are the lowest, but they cancel out, and the eight would get it. If there had been two sevens and two eights, these would have canceled, these would have canceled, the nine would have got it. If there had been no nine, then no one would get it, and the next round, whoever won it would win both cards. So that's what you're going to do for 12 rounds. Now, the exception to this rule is if you win a card with Santa Claus or Mrs. Claus, when you get the card, you have to give it to somebody else. You can't keep it yourself. After the 12th round, players will then reveal their hand that they have. And each player is going to score points if they have the majority of a certain number. So if I have the most 11s left over, and ties are friendly, so if I tie with someone else, I'm okay. If I have the most 11s, I will get 11 points. If I have the most 2s, I'll get 2 points. If I have the only 1, I'll get 1 point. I'll take those points, add them to the points to the cards that I have won during the course of the game, and whoever has the most points wins the game. Now I have to say that I was incredibly surprised at how interesting this game played to be. Uh, you know, at first it seemed pretty obvious. Try to play the lowest number. If you have the one or the twos, save those till you get to 11 or 12 because those are worth more points. That's true. But where this game really shines is the fact that there's simplicity there, but there's more depth behind that. Because in this game, each turn you're passing a card to the person on your left. That's really critical because you're watching the cards that are coming to you and you're, 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 you're trying to gear up because you're playing those low cards so that you can win them in the middle. That's only half the game. The other half is that hand you have at the end. And so having a bunch of 12s at the end can be a really big deal. Having a bunch of 11s, but what if someone else is collecting the 12s? Maybe I should go for 10s and 9s. If I get both of those, that's 19 points. And so you're trying to build that hand up, but you'll find your hand gets clogged pretty quickly. And so if you're building a hand, let's say, of 9s and 8s, are you going to throw away those low number early? Uh, maybe if you just keep a 2 at the end of the game, it's worth 2 points because probably no one else is keeping 2s either. It's really kind of a neat system. Now, the card artwork is... Garish, maybe, I think would be the proper term for it. And it is Christmassy themed, which I really think more games should be Christmassy themed because come on, it's like a wide open market. People would buy Christmas themed games. But this one could be played year round. It's pretty quick. 
I haven't noticed that the number of players really affects it, other than that with more players, obviously, the game uh, has a maximum, I believe, of five players. Yeah, with five players, you're going to run into more duplication of numbers, but I think that's fine. The Santa and Mrs. Claus cards are kind of intriguing too, right? Because you win with those, but you have to give the card to someone else. Why would you ever do that? Well, sometimes you give the card to someone who you think isn't winning just so that the person you think is winning is getting it. And sometimes you're just trying to get that stupid Santa card out of your hand because, oh, you know, you're trying to form that. You only have 12 cards in your hand, and you're trying to form majorities and at least two or three, if possible, numbers to get points at the end of the game. This is pretty solid. I'm impressed with how quickly it plays. It took mechanics that are used in a lot of different games and made them feel fresh and interesting. Highly recommend it. 12 days. Dice Tower Judgment approved! Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews as well as our top-rated audio podcast at Dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at Dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching The Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff, Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool Stuff in stock. Check them out at CoolStuffInc.com. Shut the door. Shut the door! Boop. Boop.